Hello people, in one of my last latest videos on Homeland here, so the one to the left with the, with the four circles, everything is just a coating to hide the truth, I left a comment. Uh, I'm going to show it to you now. I left it uh, underneath another um, um, person who's commenting, uh, who's living in Switzerland and um, has been terrorized for a long time by the Swiss police and the Swiss um, authorities. And I just left a comment about um, how what are the laws about uh, videotaping what can you do and what can't you do you know to avoid uh, don't have yourself intimidated by the police like put the camera off or otherwise you know yeah so she's a young muslim girl and i'm really glad absolutely glad that there are so many muslims who are also waking up i can see the difference uh, in france you know before uh, the Arabs, because it's mostly Arabs in France, the, the Turks are more in Germany, Switzerland, like this one here. Uh, and um, they are waking up. I see so many, you know, it's changing. Like uh, even 20 years ago, the, or the, the Arab Muslims, you know, talking to them, they were more like, Oh, the white man, you know, he's like the um, doing the colonies and all these sort of things, and he's the enemy. Now they've completely woken up. They see the white man, he's a slave like anybody else. And um, they have woken up. And they understand that there is an enemy within, and this is what we need. You know, we all have the same enemy, people and uh, we must fight them together there's no other way you know if you're a general or doing tactics in a in a war you must think cold and intellectually if you use your emotions or you you will not win this war like i don't like this one i don't like the other one no I mean we have to fight the enemy within first and this is the enemy of all peoples pharaoh and after that, after that's done, if it will ever happen, we can always beat each other on the head again. You know, why not? Eh? If it makes fun. So she said, you know, they are like Satan trying to hide the truth. And since I use my video camera in Switzerland, police is really near me with many machine guns. Wow, how dangerous am I? <laughs> Lol, laughing out loud. So. I wrote back, you know, like one day ago. Uh, I, I know she's a serious Muslim, you know, with a uh, with a with a headscarf and all that. And uh, so I, you know, just trying to be with a bit of humor. I wrote her back. Well, hide the cam under the burqa, my Muslim sister. Lol, laughing out loud. I can tell her this because, you know, she has been writing comments under my videos for a couple of years now, I think. So she knows, you know, she accepts it, you know, that I I can say things like that, you know, without hurting someone's feelings about, you know, oh, it's another Muslim with a burqa, you know, or, you know, take, put on your burqa, you know, like cynically. No, it was not. Of course, it's not like that. You know, it's just. Why not, why not laugh about it, you know, why not have fun together, you know, somebody's dangerous, different, I accept it, okay, you're different, no problem, you know. So, um, she wrote back uh, to me like 22 hours ago, I don't wear burqa, maybe one day my brother, oh, Swissy police is really scared of me, really, since I go out with my video cam everywhere I go, I see police car. Okay, and now comes the thing, the part, which might be very important for you if you go out um, in the street and um, uh, filming uh, people and things, you know, and remind you, this is a lawyer who told me this. So this is the real, the real deal. So 
the name of the of the Muslim girl, and and I think and I'm, I think it's fantastic. Muslim women taking me hitchhiking all alone, you know. This Muslim, this brave Muslim girl, you know, who also knows there's an enemy within, and Swissy, uh writing me back here. So you can see the uh, the name of her channel. Pray to the Creator, Beta Tum Shepfa, which means the same thing in German. So I wrote back, which is important to you. I'll film them and upload them. It's legal. Important. The law states that you may videotape everyone and everything for your own personal use, but you cannot publicize certain things and persons without the explicit approval of those persons. But by law, even then, when uploading, there's, a, there's no problem, as long as no one's complaining on your upload. I mean, you, you, you may film a crowd, you know, during a, during a soccer match, no problem. Second, you may, under all circumstances, film and upload any civil servant or public person, like priests, politicians, judges, mayors, and cops. So don't have yourself intimidated by those crooked Swiss Nazi cops you hear and always carry a copy of the law concerning this particular journalism laws with you, always. Third, when there's a crime going on, like cops harassing you, or even if you feel a crime is about to happen, like Swiss cops giving you that angry, menacing look, by law, you are, by all means, allowed to videotape, upload, and publicize it. I mean, as a proof, you know, for a court case, you know, or for them, you know, who should like be protecting us, you know, so they can see what happened if there was a crime being committed or an accident or whatever. And that's law. So under these three circumstances, I mean, you may upload. You even have to upload, you know, if there's a crime. Otherwise, they tell you, well, this is a... Um, you're not um, assist a person, an endangered person, which is again a crime by law. And what are you going to do? You know, if there's something dangerous going on, you, do, do you want to mingle in it? No, but you can, you can grab your camera. So with that, you know, you can avoid going for, to prison for not doing something. I always find something to, especially in Switzerland, I always find something to, uh, to hang on to, you know. They're looking for victims. Why? Because Switzerland is a um, is a very low tax um, system. They have. Why do they have a low tax? Well, first of all, you know, people have more money. You can buy bigger cars. But the most important to attract tax evasion. So there are letterbox companies who install themselves in Switzerland in a low tax. Canton, they even cantons that are lower than others, like the canton of Zug and the canton of Schwitz, where all the, the, the Hollywood stars and, and tennis stars, they're all there. And, and uh, so they don't pay any taxes. But anyway, for a millionaire or a billion dollar company, even if the tax is like uh, 4%, it's an amazing amount of money and there are whole Swiss towns, you know, like living on it. So that means they have a low tax system. And especially the cantons that have no, not so many like those billion dollar letterbox companies. They only have a letterbox there. You know? No, there's no, there's, there isn't a company. There's nothing. The factory is like in the United States. And... Um, you know, all the, uh, they, they just take the, the, the low Swiss taxes, you know, like for a product being sold in America on which the taxes should have, should have been paid in America because it's sold in America, but they don't, you know. Well, why? Because Pharaoh never paid any taxes. It's all been an invention by the guys in the castle, right? Okay, I'm drifting off again. And um, 
so in order to attract all these people, you know, you need low taxes. And that means low taxes, not enough money for the police. So the police have to scavenge by extortion their, their money together themselves. And that's going on today in Switzerland. They kidnapped me for a ransom of 20,000 Swiss francs. It's $20,000, which I don't have. If you don't pay, it was one year and two months in prison. Based upon their lies, anyway. Those crooked Swiss cops lied things together. Like I threatened them, which is absolutely no, not true. It's only because of my videos, just like what they did with in Sweden with uh, Julian Assange. Well, you hang. They want to hang you, they hang you. Same thing happened. Well, I'm going to show you that in a minute. So I finished that, like, go get them, my sister. And if you get some interesting footage on your channel, well, I make sure to show that to my viewers. If there's something you can show me about Switzerland, eh? So give this girl a hand. She deserves it, eh? And to understand better what's going on in Switzerland, I a few days back I uploaded this video of another witness account, English. I mean, it's international, you know. They all get arrested in Switzerland by this extortion. So by the title, Extortion by Swiss Police Robber Barons to Fill the Till. So this here happened last year ago. Uh, you can see you can see that, and it's extortion, it's uh, corruption, it's nepotism, um, which you can see down there. You see the cop, you know, it says got a refund. You can see the cop with all the money and just smiling, you know, and you can see all these fancy cars. You know, it's all Ferrari. There were Americans, Bentleys. And so they knew there was um, there was something to get there, yeah. Uh, and they were just going after the dough. It's um, it's extortion. And I know what they're doing. They terrorized me for 20, 20 years. And it's it's a highly criminal nation. They did the same thing with the Jews, you know the the jew gold and it's going on it's going on it's going on and there's absolutely the laws of silence around switzerland and uh, it's a big scandal this is going on now and they were americans so i hope uh, one of the, this is guy super speeders uh, rob where you can read it here and Vin wiki they are like car maniacs i mean if you're happy with it well go ahead you know <laughs> And it says, you know, the, the Swiss, $10,000 for a U-turn. Can you imagine? It's just money making, eh? It's just extortion. And the way they do it. I mean, by law, you should have a right to have yourself appeared in front of a judge. Anything, any fine. You always, but these, they, they just beat it out of their pockets like, if you don't pay me right now, we're going to confiscate your car. You can't do that. That's no law. They are robber barons. This is Templar stuff, people. So go ahead and see these videos, and I'll show you some more, and give a hand to these people. And tell them in the comment that I, I, sent, I sent you that, right? And um, it, it's full of it. I, I can't show you all, you know, but it, it's, it's the internet, YouTube is full of it in Switzerland, what they're doing to people, you know. And um, I mean, they're talking about a U-turn, but they don't talk about a U-turn they made like with the Nazis. There was a terrible U-turn, right? Wasn't it? Swissy. And, um, and Swissy is so perfect they are perfectionists like in the denial but they're not very perfect in the admittance of their crimes not at all they don't want to talk a word about it and if you see the comments under these videos how bloody arrogant they are so it means they all know it they all react in the same way and this is exactly what i know about switzerland they all know it
they all know what they did, you know, like working together, collaborating with the Nazis, the Nazi gold. And they always like to criticize any other country, especially the Americans, of course. But the moment, you know, you criticize them, they're getting nasty. They're getting really nasty. If you know any Swiss or any in Switzerland, just try it out and you'll see what's going to happen. And here, another guy here, it's called, his channel is Smile to Jenna. And taking, taken to police station in Switzerland, you know, while just next to it, there were a lot of, you know, like, uh, uh, people doing graffiti on the walls. But because this guy has a beard, I had to take him. Why? Because Switzerland is all about racial profiling, folks. They do it all the time. And then the extortion comes. And this is such a beautiful Muslim person. He's just, just smiling. And this guy is just, is his only love. You can see it, you know. There's, if you see this video of his, you can see this guy is just love. And, you know, nothing, nothing dangerous or aggressive. And he just said with a smile, which was not a fake smile, but you can see it's a real smile. He said, uh, he just said, I just killed them with love. Fantastic. And because the Swiss Nazi extortionist uh, robber baron police are so busy to get their money together, to get their salaries together, because there's not enough tax money, as I just explained to you, they have no time to do the real job. Shall I repeat it for you? This is so, so bad what's going on. So they found last year, and it has been hardly in any newspapers at all. I found some newspapers. I'm actually going to show that in my next video. They found the man who was behind the terrorist attacks. And he was Swiss. No, he was not a Muslim or some Arab born in Switzerland. No, he was a real Swiss, you know. A real Swiss family, always in Switzerland, European. Well, they're not real Europeans anyway. And I know, I try to warn everybody since years and years and years. I even made three complaints at the, the state's attorney in, Fran in France with my information I could have given the names and everything we could have, they could have stopped the terrorist attacks of Paris but they didn't even listen to it they didn't even look at it it's all corruption and nepotism it's all Freemasons at, at the at the court you know they probably because I didn't stick to the um, the procedures the legal procedures as you have to do when you drop a complaint. I'm not a lawyer. I'm an historian. I, I, so, I mean, it's not my job to do that. It's their job, you know. So, I was a Swiss. I've been saying this all the whole time. And this guy wasn't even a Muslim. This is Octogon. I knew it. I was there when Swiss industrialists they talked about it nobody wanted to listen okay but that's not for now uh that's in the next video no the over next video not the next one and um so this is why the swiss cops with their extortion and uh their new well it's not a new their swiss business model like looking for victims with nice fancy cars or who have a black beard or who open up their mouth too much like I do, criticizing Switzerland, extort money, you know, and um, kidnappings, uh, ransom money. Um, it's a highly criminal state, so they don't have any time to do the work they're supposed to do. So, but anyway, even if they had enough money, this guy was Swiss. 
they would never do anything you know to uh, to stop him because this was planned by octagon and um, just as they did with the nazis the swiss are behind two world wars i give all my proofs in my film the swiss beast home of the devil so let's do something right eh? i'm pretty sure trump won't do anything eh? he's he's one of them they're all they're all the same all politicians and this is their base where they put all the money tax evasion and the Templar system, the Templars founded Switzerland, and the political system is a Templar system. A Swiss, eh?